Everyone will have two minutes each. I want to remind everyone of our rules of civility, that we listen, that we do not applaud, nor do we boo or hiss or anything like that. If someone says something that you agree with, you are free to raise your hand and silently let us know that you agree. But we do ask that everyone be respectful of all the speakers, regardless of whether you agree or disagree with their statements. Okay, sorry, unaccustomed as I am. Um, anyway, this was a, a study that was done by the uh, pediatricians at UCLA regarding um, the health considerations uh, of the airport. Now, I'm just going to read the, uh, the uh, key findings. Uh, number one, airport operations, particularly jet takeoffs and landing, are contributing to elevated levels of black carbon in the area surrounding Santa Monica Airport. Elevated uh, exposure to black carbon is associated with increased rates of respiratory and cardiovascular disease, including asthma, bronchitis, and increased risk for sudden death. Irreversible uh, decrease uh, of lung function in children and increased carcinogenic risk. Two, the elevated levels of ultra-fine particulates uh, called uh, UFP are associated with aircraft operations and jet takeoffs and are found in the area surrounding Santa Monica Airport. Elevated exposure to the UFPs are associated with increased inflammation and blockage of blood vessels in uh, lungs. Uh, greater lung inflammation with exposure to UFPs uh, than exposure to larger particulates in rodent models. Number three, elevated levels of polycyclic uh, aromatic hydrocarbons, PAH, are found in the areas surrounding the airport, and exposure to PAH has been, um, in, has been associated with increased carcinogenic risk disruption of the hormonal balance in adults, reproductive abnormalities with exposure during pregnancy, and lower IQ scores in children. Levels of noise due to plane and jet takeoffs in San Monica Airport are above federal aviation airport thresholds. Excessive noise is associated with hearing loss, higher levels of psychological distress, and impaired Thank you very much. comprehension in children. Everyone will have two minutes each. I want to remind everyone of our rules of civility, that we listen, that we do not applaud, nor do we boo or hiss or anything like that. If someone says something that you agree with, you are free to raise your hand and silently let us know that you agree. But we do ask that everyone be respectful of all the speakers, regardless of whether you agree or disagree with their statements. 